Hey, Shalom, Yasha Allah, it's your brother Dan Allah, and I'm back with a quick breakdown through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakai Kadash. All right. Um, and before I go any further into this video, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wakai Kadash. All right. Um, salutations to the brothers and sisters that magnify this truth on the four corners of the earth which they have given their bodies as a living sacrifice. Double honors to the elders over at Great Millstone, all right, who has taught us this truth and sincerity, all right? Salutations to the brothers and sisters. Again, Shalom. Um, you know, real quick, how you doing? How you doing? All right, peace and blessings. All right, and real quick, um, what I'm going to touch on pretty much is... Um, you know, you have Negroes like um, Charles Broccoli, all right, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, right, um, and many other celebrities, all right, who's going to justify the wicked in these last days, all right, um, pursuing the matter at hand with, uh, you know, Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. All right, you have those Charlemagne the gods. All right, you have uh, you have your uh, your Meek Mills and Lil Boozy and you know all of these uh, celebrated people who's standing up against truth in these last days. All right, even though Kanye West and Kyrie Irving they're not deep. All right, they're speaking truth. We are the black Hebrew. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. All right, we are the Jews of the Bible. We are God's chosen people. All right. So let's get into it. Let's go to Proverbs chapter fifteen. Uh, Proverbs chapter seventeen, verse fifteen, and it says, "He that justifies the wicked, and he that condemneth the ju condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord." Right? And that's what's going on. You see these celebrated people, celebrities, all right? They're justifying the wicked. They're speaking out saying, all right, that, you know, Kanye West or Kyrie Irving is wrong. Even though Kyrie never spoke a word, he just posted, you know, a book. All right? And that book isn't um, too accurate, but it's a start, man. Right? So... They're justifying the wicked, all right? Because those men, they, 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 they're, they're aware too. They're aware that we the Hebrew Israelites, all right? And what are they doing? They're, they're condemning uh, Kanye, right? They're getting up there. They're calling them uh, all type of heinous names, right? They're talking bad, speaking down on the brother for speaking truth, man. And the Lord said that that is abomination. So they're going to have their time, man. The Lord's going to judge them. Right? This is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 23. Which justify the wicked for reward. And, and look, they're justifying the wicked to keep their house, to keep their car, to keep their check for a reward, man. To, to stay prosperous in this land of evil. It says, and take away the righteous of the the righteousness of the righteous from him. Right, man. And if they could, they'll take away the righteousness of Kanye. They'll take away the righteousness of uh, Kyrie. They'll tell him to shut up and just dribble, man. Shut up and just make music, man. All right? To not worry a thing about the truth. Right? This is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 5. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked. Right, man. You shouldn't be sitting up there accepting. All right, these men who's trying to overthrow your judgment of the truth, man. You should know there's something wrong. All right, when he started, when Kyrie Salakia, when um, when um, Kanye West began to lose all his endorsement deals. All right. 
when he when he went from a, a a trillionaire to a billionaire overnight. Those men that sit next to Kanye should have known then that they were trying to overthrow all right, all right, the righteous man, because he spoke it before it happened. But yet these men they they continued in their wickedness. All right. So let's go here to Proverbs 24, verse 23. It says, These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. Right, man. And those those men they're 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 pretty much saying that uh the Jewish community is, is is right. All right? And they're saying that it's hurtful. The Jewish community is is saying that these are hurtful statements, that they're anti-Semitic, all right, and all of the above. And these house niggas, these coons, they're agreeing, man. All right, so that's having respects respect the persons of the wicked. And the Lord isn't dealing with that, man. All right. So I hope it was edifying through the spirit and power of your Yahweh Shem Shai. And I was able to edify at least one or two uh, sheep for the lambs. Until next time, Shalom.